Next problem, so a stone is dropped from high at altitude and, and three seconds later another is uh, projected so vertically downward with a speed of 150 feet per second. When and where will the second overtake the first? Meron tayo, uh, yung figure niya natin is since nauna, si Stone 1 yung velocity initial niya is 0 feet per second kasi walang sinabi dito na initial velocity ng Stone 1 so sinabi a stone is dropped from a high altitude so kung sinabing i-drop drop yung stone from a high altitude meaning may may humahawak sa bola o i-drop uh, niya lang so hindi given yung initial velocity so assume natin na 0 feet per uh, feet per second so time t1 hindi sinabi siyempre given na yung gravity yung gravity nyan is uh, given na merong gravity so after 3 seconds another stone 2 ito 3 seconds. Ang time ni uh, T2 or time ng second stone is equal to so T1 minus 3. So for example, kung pag 3 seconds pa baba yung time ni T1, so 0 pa lang yung time ni T2. So wala pa. So tama tong equation na to. So T2 is equal to T1 minus 3. Then B2I so, sinabi, uh, ayan, vertically, uh, downward, with a speed of 150 feet per second. So, B2I is equals to 150 feet per second. So, given na yung uh, gravity sa problem niyan. Kahit hindi sinabi, so, kung ahabuli ni, so, when and where will the second overtake the first? So, S2 dapat is equals to S1. Kasi habulin ni S2 si S1. So, kung anong, kung anong distance ni S1, yun din ang distance ni S2. So, for stone 1. For stone 1, so, S1 is equals to BI, TI, plus 1 half GT. Uh, may square to dito. So, B, I, T, I plus 1 half G, T squared. Since initial velocity is 0, so magiging S1 is equal to 1 half. Mm, 32 feet. 1 times T1 squared. So, yan yung equation 1. So, equation 2. So, S2 is equal to. So, B2 initial, T2 plus 1 half G, T squared. So, T1 saka T2. So, ang equation natin is magiging S2 is equals to 150 feet per second. So, yung T2, ito yun. T1 minus 3. So, seconds plus 1 half 32 feet per second squared. So, T1 minus 3 squared. So, S squared. So, ano lang to ah, Nilagay lang natin yung units. So, since S1 is equals to S2, so, ito yung equation 2. Equate lang natin yung dalwa. Equation 2. So, so, ito na yon So, uh, evaluate nyo lang to So, magiging divide to So, magiging 16T1 squared is equal to uh, 150 T1 minus 3 plus 16 T1 minus 3 squared. So, ito yung uh, general equation. So, try natin calculator yan. Try natin kumakuha 16. So, yung T gawin natin X. Kung ano yung hinahanap gagawin natin X.
Tapos ship sub equals so 5.67. So ito yung lumabas. So yan yung pag ginamitan natin ng uh, calculator. So paano kung hindi natin gamitan ng calculator? So uh, ito expand nyo to. So may gigas siyang 16t squared is equal to 150 t1 minus 450. So ito uh, multiply distributively. So plus Uh, ito, expanding mo, so magiging siyang 16, uh, quantity uh, T1 squared minus 61 plus 9. So, evaluate mo lang, mathematically, so magiging siyang 16, T1 squared, uh, 150 T1 minus 450 plus 16 T1 squared minus 96 Ti. So, initial yan na, yung 1 is uh, initial. Uh, uh, time pala ng T1, so plus uh, 144. So, evaluating sa so magigitong 54 T1 minus 306. So, equate in terms of T1. So, T1 is equals to 306 over 54. So, yung time T1 is uh, 5.67 seconds. So, answer is 5.67 So, meron na tayong time. So, gamitin natin yung uh, S1 kasi simple lang siya. So, S1. Gamitin natin yung S1. So, S1 is equals to ito. So, 1 half uh, times 32 feet per second squared times 5.67 squared. So, S1 is equals to uh, 514 feet. So, so T1 ang ginamit natin kasi nauna So, T1 ang ginamit natin kasi nauna yung stone 1 So, dito naka-reference yung T2 So, so bale yung total so yung total time or yung when so yung time na so bali yung T1 dito naka reference yung uh, T2 so bali from 3 seconds below is nagiintay pa tong na si Stone 2. So bale yung time uh, time record niya is 5 uh, seconds, 5.67 seconds.